Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matador and we're here with another tutorial video. This is only an update video on how to install all your mods, add on pens, map builder, menu, scripthook v, scripthook v.net and even your map editor and menu. So guys this video might be long so anyway guys like always all of the links and all of the websites will be inside my description below so go and check it out so guys please my english isn't really good okay so i hope you guys do understand me so make sure you guys do follow this tutorial on how to actually install everything so guys welcome back now so we are here so guys the first thing first okay this is only a tutorial from the start okay what i mean from the start is from a first folder so here guys here we here guys we got like all sorts of GTA V folders over here and they're all over like about about 80 gigabytes each one of them except for this one over here this one over here is about 90 gigabytes yes about 90 so yes guys so um, what you guys got to do okay is uninstall your game then now uh, delete everything start again okay uh, from fresh and then uh, do what I've done okay, okay guys make sure make sure you make sure you leave your modded folder as a backup folder so what I have done here guys is that I got this one over here and I made a few folders too uh, they're all the same okay and what I did here is that I made this folder for our uh, LSPDFR folder and I made this one over here to go online and this folder is like the original folder this tutorial is all about how to install the main important mods into your GTA V folder. So let's get straight into it guys. <coughs> now guys, all you gotta do once you install your game, copy and then now copy your folder and then now make a new folder, okay? I already made mine so I don't need to do it. Open up your folder, okay guys, and then now that's your folder right here. Make sure you install OpenIV. It is easy to install. Once you do install OpenIV, you can open up OpenIV, okay? Then now, click on Windows. This is the first important thing you must do. As you guys can see over here, there's no mods folder, okay? There's no mods folder, so we will make one through here. Go to edit mode, push yes. Oh, wait, no. Just leave off for now. Okay, go to Tools, go to ASI Manager, and then install all three of them. Uh, yes, allow allow edit mode on the yes yes. Okay, guys, and then push close, and then just minimize your Open IV, and you got a mod folder right here, guys. There you go. Now, here is the next step you gotta that you guys gotta do is that you got to install script hook v and script hook v dot net. So, um, so guys, um, click on your script hook v file or folder. Um, that's good, guys. I got all of the links over here. Uh, script hook v, script hook v dot net, map editor, map builder menu add on peds peds selector native ui and even the um, map builder uh, link too so yeah so guys go uh click on your script your click on your script hook v wait for a few seconds and then click on bin then click on your din put dot dll and even script hook v dot dll and then drag it into your GTA V main directory. Replace your files. And there we go. And that's all you guys got to do. And you don't need to worry about this. Put this on the side. Then now grab your scripthookv.net. Click on that. Drag it towards the side. And make sure you copy all three of them. Your XML, DLL and ASI. And drag them all into your GTA V main directory. And that's all you guys gotta do. 
and we're finished. And then now what we're going to do over here is grab the trainer V, open up your trainer. Okay, wait for a few seconds, then there you go. Then make sure you drag that towards, towards the side. Then now copy your trainer V dot ASI and dot INI and drag it in, and drag it into your GTA V main directory. Then now guys the next step you gotta do is your menu. Okay. Uh, menu click on your menu extract folder then drag it towards the side copy the whole thing and then except for the readme.txt and drag it into your main GTA V directory see guys all you do is only copying and paste copying and paste it's really easy guys and then we done that okay we done menu okay we done all that now map builder add on pads uh, okay map editor so now we're gonna do is we are going to be doing map builder i mean map sorry map editor now guys with map editor map editor it is different okay it is different okay uh, hang on guys um do something yes guys with map editor okay uh create create a scripts folder okay new and create a script folder Open up your Scots folder. Open up your your map editor extract folder. Then now copy and paste everything that is inside your script and uh, that is inside your folder. Everything, guys, and drag it into your Scots folder. Refresh and then click out of there. Now, guys, go into my inside my de inside my description, and then now. Then now download the custom native UI. Then download that. And now it will take a few seconds. <coughs> now guys, just to let you guys know that this native UI, um, yeah guys, um, this, um, this helps with anything, okay? This is a custom one, so yeah guys so now what what you guys gotta do um is that you gotta drag this native ui and then put it over here then now replace it because because guys the map editor native ui it's a bit buggy so replace the guys and then there we go and then refresh and now map editor actually works should work now what what we're gonna do guys is that we're gonna drag map editor and then put it over here now our next step is no we're not gonna do add on pets just yet add on pets is the last uh okay hold on guys is it this one hold, hold on guys is it this no 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 is it hold on guys is it this oh yes now guys uh guys sorry guys i found it now guys um if you guys are are installing this okay um because guys map editor and map builder they both are the same but map builder actually um actually fi uh, fixes all of the um, buildings inside the game so yeah map builder and map editor is both really important for the big mansions so yes guys all you gotta do is download is download the map builder and now it will bring up this one over here okay once you bring up this one once you guys open up this it will come in with your with, with a link okay copy the link and then now get out of there guys and then go over here and then it will drag you into this website over here once you come to this website over here okay, okay guys download this okay download this and then quit out of it once you download it guys it may take you about about 10 to 5 minutes depends on your graphics um yeah but depends on the on the performance of your computer and once you guys finish downloading it okay then all you guys got to do is open up the folder 
I even not met build it community and then now drag your prop OIV and map builder OIV and then now DRC list and then there you go now the first thing we're gonna do guys is just refresh this folder because we won't because we won't work on there open up your open IV go to tools go to package installer then map builder and then push open wait for a few seconds then install and then now install it into your mods folder now guys it will take a few seconds or probably a minute it depends on on how fast your computer is so i'm gonna start the way stop the the video guys on a new mine that was fast so guys push close and then now all you gotta do now is go to tools again then go to package installer and then install props.oiv and then wait for a few seconds and then install then now install it into your GTA V main main directory this will take a few seconds there you go now guys hold on a minute don't touch don't touch your DRC list yet go to mods folder go to update uh, hang on guys always check yes yes okay it's there now guys the next thing we're gonna do now is go to tools package installer then I go to DRC list and then there you go and then install it into your mods folder guys remember all DRC list is always inside the mods folder wait for a few seconds or minutes depends on your performance of your computer And now we are done guys click close and now you can just delete all that if you want to but i'll do it later and now let's go here go to mods folder go to update go to update rpf common data and then your mods folder should be i mean your drc list should be over here so that's good now we've done that we have installed map builder so we can put that down and put that down and now guys the last thing we're going to install is add-on pets that everybody has been asking about so what we're going to do now guys is that we get, is that we're going to go to the main folder open up your add-on pets wait for a few seconds now drag that towards the side now what you what you guys going to do click on add on pins make sure that dlc.rpf is actually in there sometimes it's not so guys what you guys gotta do is go to your mods folder go to update go to 64 drc packs and then drag this into your drc packs and there you go check yes it's there then now go back to your gta v main directory then open up your scripts folder then now open up this scripts folder then drag your pet selector.dll and then now you're finished now after that guys go back to your GTA V main directory and then now click on your add-on pets editor.exe and add-on pets vars.xml and drag them both into your main directory right click and refresh and that's all you guys gotta do now go guys go into the readme.html then now find the add-on peds code which is over here somewhere i believe it's over here still right so guys it is under number five okay copy this code copy the code guys and then that's all you guys got to do click 
quit out of there and then quit this you don't need it anymore then go into your open iv go to your mod folder go to updates go to update rpf go to common data and then scroll down to your drc list right click and edit your drc list scroll down click on the item and push enter once and then paste your code in here your add-on peds code and click save make sure you go back and check to see if it's there yes it is then quit then come over here guys then now the next thing you gotta you guys gotta do is in some of the description there is the pet selector this pet selector is another one that it has been it's been customized okay this pet selector is customized because guys uh we are generating a new download key uh, i don't know why that is saying that oh there you go okay continue without disabling and then there you go so guys with this pet selector okay this helps you to to actually open up the menu okay because a lot of people has been helping uh, a lot of people has been uh, having issues about the L button so guys all you gotta do is open up your scratch folder then open up your pet selector your custom pet selector then click on pet selector and then now all you guys gotta do okay hold on let me just drag this here here all you guys gotta do is click on peer selector dot yeah dot dll and drag it into your scratch folder replace it with the new one and then there you go and that's all you guys gotta do now go back to your gtv right click and then now that's all you guys gotta do now we're gonna be adding a ped into the game so you guys would know that it that it actually works so what we're gonna do is then we're gonna just do um our main person mia uh, okay uh okay um uh let's try uh let's yeah let's just try them so we're gonna try this one guys and download download this and then now this will show then now that then now i will show you guys proof that it does work okay it will take a few seconds because i've got a lot of things uh, up here and i've got a lot of things on my desktop and there we go guys it's finished now open up your raw file or whatever folder you got and then open up okay and now the one that we're going to be using is no uh the one we're going to be using is this one over here now guys all you got to do okay to install your add-on peds is that you got to go uh go to your your open iv go to mods folder go to updates go to time 64 Go to DRC packs, go to add on peds, then go to DRC.RPF, go to peds.RPF, and then paste them over here. Make sure that edit mode is on. Copy the whole thing except for the JPG. Make sure you only copy the copy the YDD, YFT, YNT, and YTD and drag it into your open iv and that's all you guys gotta do and it's actually there now make sure you go and drag one file and drag it onto your desktop i will tell you guys why now go back to your gta v minimize that and now make sure you guys really important make sure you got antivirus disabled because guys once you activate your add-on pins it does delete your add-on pins okay so make sure that you got your virus disabled right click on your add-on page editor.exe and run as administrator Ooh. 
Now, come over here, say OK and OK. And there we go, guys. We got um, we got that. And now, guys, come over here, OK. Right click on your on your file and click on rename. Copy the name, and then that's all you guys gotta do. Go to peers, drop down, and then click on new peer. Then now uh, paste the paste the uh, model name, which is Mia, and then female. Yes, yeah, she's a female, and she is false. Add the peer, and there she goes. She's right over there, and then click on rebuild, and okay. And that's all you guys gotta do. And now, once you guys are finished with that, delete everything. Okay. Then now uh, refresh your folder, quit out of it, then refresh your desktop again. Okay guys, then now make sure you close out everything that you work that you don't need. I don't really need all these. Um and I don't really need this anymore. And I don't really need this. And did that open? Okay, so guys, we're gonna go in the game, and I'm gonna pause the video, and I'll see you guys in the game. Yo, what's up, guys? We're here with Franklin, and we're gonna go and show you guys proof that it does work. Okay, you guys, you guys remember that? Um, you guys remember that um, that I started the game with a first folder. Okay, now let's see if this does actually work. Okay, guys. So here we go. Now the first thing we're gonna go and try, okay, is that we're gonna go away from the road because it's too noisy. So guys, um, first thing we're gonna we, that we're going to do is add on pen. So let's check to see if it works. In three, two, one. Yes, see guys, add on pen does work, okay. So to those people who are saying that it doesn't work the L button, then you guys are doing it wrong, okay. Make sure you guys follow this tutorial, okay, it does actually work, and yes, Mia is right there too, see, it does work guys, okay, now the next thing we're going to do is Trainer V, now let's check to see if Trainer V is working, and to open up Trainer V, it is F4, and that is working too, see, now the next thing we're going to do is that people have been having trouble on how to install uh, menu so here we go um, to open up yeah guys to open up menu it looks f8 push it twice one and two see and that is working too now here is the other part that a lot of people has been having trouble with and that is map editor so guys to open up map editor it looks f7 F7. And see you guys, guys, see? It does actually work. All the mods does actually work. So to those people who are saying that the mods do not work, well, it's not the mods, guys. It's just you don't know how to do it properly. Uh, so, yes, guys, make sure you guys do follow the tutorial, okay? If you do follow the tutorial while you, while you have other mods in there, then yes guys um it may not work i don't know okay because guys this tutorial is about how to install all the mods okay with a fresh folder if you guys do if you guys do still have trouble with add-on peers and map editor menu or trainer v then the only best solution that i can give you is to delete your whole file but uh, but save a backup folder of your mods okay and then now you can slowly drag them into your folder okay and then now you can find out what is causing the problem and what is stopping the problem stopping the problem from your map editor or add-on peds so guys one more time see it does work guys everything works okay and see see everything does work guys if ain't see so guys like always okay thank you for watching and i hope you guys do um get something out of this out of this video i'm sorry for my language okay i'm sorry for my english it's not really perfect okay but guys thank you for watching and if you guys did get something out of this then let me know in the comments if you guys need any assistance or help 
then let me know in the comments too it does actually work guys okay 100% so guys I'll see you guys in my next video thank you for watching guys and peace